Nature has thrown up some odd but also impressive looking plants and trees over time. Throughout the years, Mother Nature has baffled us with her strange and unusual creations. With more than 298,000 species of plants on Earth, we're sure going to find some bizarre plants among them. In today's video, we'll be introducing you to the strangest plant species ever discovered. Get ready to be amazed. Devil's Fingers Mushroom Clathrus archery, better known as Devil's Fingers or Octopus Stinkhorn, is a truly creepy mushroom. In its mature form, it has four to eight fingers as red as a fire engine, with black spheres that resemble suction cups on an octopus's tentacles. These black spheres are gleba, which emit a rancid smell reminiscent of rotting meat. This attracts flies, which disperse the plant's spores. The smell explains the stinkhorn part of its name. Like all stinkhorns, devil's fingers start life in a white, partially buried egg-like bulb. When it bursts from the bulb, the fingers are white and look like a corpse's hand and sleeve rising from the grave. Eventually, the fingers stand erect, rising to 10 centimeters or 4 inches in height and spreading out to 20 centimeters or 8 inches in width. Although it's not toxic, its smell makes it inedible. Giant Groundsels As the highest mountain in Africa, Kilimanjaro itself is pretty outstanding. But as a freestanding mountain whose climate zones become progressively less like the ground-level landscape the further you ascend, Kilimanjaro is especially remarkable as an incubator for isolated, mutated, or rare species found almost nowhere else. One of the most striking of those species is the giant groundsel. Something like a cross between a burnt-up cactus and a pineapple, these alien-looking plants can only be found on Kilimanjaro and only above 14,000 feet. In order to carve out an existence in such a forbidding environment, that high up the mountain temperatures regularly dip below freezing overnight, the plants have got a water storage in the pith of the stem, nictonastic leaf movement which means the leaves close when the temperature drops too far, a natural antifreeze, and self-insulation through withered and dead foliage. Survival is really the name of the game for giant groundsels, both on Kili and on other East African mountains. None of the species are exactly the same, but scientists assume that they evolved from a single species around a million years ago, climbing higher and higher up the slopes via the slow process of wind-borne seed distribution. Common ground sills range from 4 to 16 inches tall. Giant ground sills, on the other hand, regularly grow over 10 feet tall, sometimes even 20 feet or more. Coco de Mer Seychelles is home to some of the most dynamic species which are endemic to it. Likewise, it boasts of the most controversial nut of all times, the coco de mer. A French word, the coco de mer translates into coconut of the sea. This nut has gathered a lot of attention due to its naughty, peculiar shape, resembling that of a female bottom. It grows on tall trees and is exclusive to a tiny area in Seychelles. Various legends and myths have been associated with it, and this naughty nut has been the center of attraction in royal courts. These beautiful lines are enough to speak for the nut's enigma and popularity. The real Coco de Mer trees were not discovered until 1743 in Seychelles. General Gordon even named it as the Forbidden Fruit. Other popular names include Sea Coconut, Love Nut, Double Coconut, and Coco Fess. The Coco de Mer is the largest and the heaviest seed in the world, weighing up to 25 kilograms with a diameter of 40 to 50 centimeters. The female flowers of Coco de Mer are the largest of any palm, Dioecious with separate male and female plants. Each flower has a small bracteole, three sepals forming a cylindrical tube, and a three-lobed corolla. The male flowers are arranged in a catkin-like inflorescence which is pollinated by lizards, rain, and wind. The trees begin to produce flowers only after 11 years. Purple Jelly Disc Fungus When the jelly-like Ascochorin sarcoides first grows on a dead deciduous log, it appears as a spherical lobe. Later, it flattens into a saucer shape. As the fungi gather in clusters, they press against one another to form a rope-like mass, looking like a tiny person had spilled their small intestines onto the wood. The image is enhanced when the fleshy surface of their bodies are moistened by dew or rain. In its juvenile stage, the purple jelly disc is asexual, producing cloned conidia spores. Later, as it forms a mass that can stretch 20 centimeters or 8 inches in length, it emits both acai or sex cells and spores that sexually reproduce. It favors broadleaf trees, particularly the beech tree, in Britain, Ireland, continental Europe, and Australia. Despite its jelly-like appearance, it's also called purple jelly drops, it does not have a distinctive odor or taste and is considered inedible. Crooked Forest, Poland 
Sometimes the strangest sights are found in nature. In this case, 400 pine trees in the northwest of Poland appear to be almost normal, but they're not. If you look at the base of the trees, you might feel like you've just entered a strange mystical fairy tale. All of the trees have the same northward 90-degree bend at the base of their limb. Known as the Crooked Forest, this unique sight remains an unexplained mystery. Every tree in the Crooked Forest has the same haunting bend, but despite bent beginnings, all of the trees have grown to be tall and seemingly unhampered by their C-shaped curves. Some experts believe that the trees grew like this because they incurred some sort of damage to the tip and along some side branches. There are plenty of trees in the area, all of which grow upright from the base without the funky curve distinct to the Crooked Forest clan. So perhaps you're wondering why none of the locals have answers to what caused the formation of the Crooked Forest? This is likely because the local town was devastated during World War II. It wasn't until the 1970s when a new power and heat plant came to the town that it began to re-establish itself. Today, tourists come to enjoy many beautiful natural sites common to this area, none of which happen to be as inexplicable as the Crooked Forest. Dragon Blood Tree Have you guys ever seen a bleeding tree? That's basically what the Dracaena cinnabari, or simply the Dragon Blood Tree, does. It's a dragon tree native to the Socotra archipelago, located in the Arabian Sea. The dragon blood tree has densely packed leaves, which makes the tree have the shape of an upright umbrella. This tree is given its name because of its dark red resin, which I guess made people think of dragon's blood. This tree usually grows to the height of around 32 feet. The unusual shape of the dragon's blood tree is an adaptation for survival in dry conditions with low amounts of soil, such as at the top of mountains. The large packed crown provides shade and reduces evaporation. The shade also helps the survival of seedlings growing beneath the adult tree. The dark red resin from the tree was used as a source of varnish for 18th century Italian violin makers. It was also used as a toothpaste back around the same time. Because of the belief that it is actually the blood of dragons, it was also used in ritual magic and alchemy. Would it freak you out if you saw this tree and it looked like it was bleeding? Let us know in the comments section. Do us a favor too and hit that like button. The Narilata Flowers Ever heard of this flower, the Narilata or Lia Thampara? It has gained popularity on the web due to its shape, which looks like that of a naked woman. The Narilata or Narilatha plant is said to grow only in the Himalayan region in India and bloom at an interval of 20 years. The flowers resembling a naked woman can be seen around the web, social media sites and forums, but with no credibility. The information about this flower obviously shattered netizens, but what makes it more mystifying is that neither are there images of the tree or its entirety nor nature journals available. The point is that it seems impossible for scientists and botanists to have not discovered this flower if it really exists. While the ancient stories regarding Naralata, which may be myth, support these claims, some believe that it has been created just to attract attention and gain popularity on the internet. But the question here is, does this flower plant really exist? If not, what's the base of the images floating on the internet? Rainbow Trees At first glance, you might just think someone got a little carried away and painted those tree barks. Reasonable guess, but what if I told you that those colourful streaks formed naturally and that these colourful trees are actually real? Not all bark is brown, my friends, and these multicoloured timbers are here to prove it. Eucalyptus deglupta trees, also known as rainbow trees or Mindanao gum trees, are tropical evergreens known for their colourful rainbow-like bark. Every season, these trees shed their old rinds, revealing a new variegated layer of oranges, blues and greens. It's magical, not to mention beautiful, especially since the tree's shelling will never look exactly the same over the years. Passiflora quadrangularis erotica A vine-producing penis-shaped passion fruit has been discovered by a gardener in the Brazilian city of San Jose de Ribamar in the country's north. Normally round, the fruit is native to South America, and its tart pulp can be found flavoring everything from sweet desserts to caipirinhas, the Brazilian national cocktail. Although some of the penis-shaped variety aren't ripe yet, the woman who grew them, Maria Rodriguez de Aguiara Farreas, 53, told the news site G1 so many visitors want to see the plants that she started charging admission. I charged two reals to look, 15 for taking photographs, and 20 to shoot video, she said. That's a little over $1 to see, 9 for a snapshot and 12 for video. A local government plant expert has examined the fruit and pronounced it healthy, G1 reported. 
While it remains to be seen how good the plant's pulp tastes, the shape itself shouldn't be a reason to shy away, said Marcello Cavallari with the Brazilian Agricultural Research Corporation. On the contrary, it's pretty big, it's pretty thick, Cavallari said. It may even reach 15 to 20 centimeters in length. Common Poppy Papava roeus, also known as the common poppy, is a flowering plant of the herbaceous species belonging to the poppy family, Papaveraceae. This species of poppy used to be popular as an agricultural weed. Still, after World War I, it was used as a symbol of deceased soldiers. The common poppy is a plant that forms a long-lived soil seed bank that can spring up or germinate when the soil is bothered. The stem of the common poppy plant is long and quite hairy, and its leaves are very deep green with rough edges. The bud of the common poppy looks like a vagina when slightly open. That was all about some visually unique plants and trees. Do tell us in the comments section which of these mesmerized you the most, and have you seen any of these in real life? Do check out our channel for more amazing content. We'll be back soon with another smashing video. In order to get immediately notified, make sure you've turned on the notifications by clicking the bell icon. See you all next time. Take good care of yourselves.